Question, the member from Kitchener, Waterloo. Thank you, very, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Acting Premier. Last year, the government changed the Government Advertising Act so that they could run partisan government's ads. We see them all the time. As Ontario's nonpartisan Auditor General wrote, the government could flood the province with self-congratulatory and self-promotional advertising that would be of little practical use to the citizens paying for it. The new electoral rules will limit anyone who wants to criticize them during an election and the six months before, but they will allow the government to spend millions and flood the province with partisan ads during an election and the six months before. Those are the rules. Are the Liberals so desperate that they'll limit the speech of non-partisan citizens from in Lawrence the province of Ontario? That's right. Thank you, Mr. Premier. That's right. Uh, speaker, we, um, we're very proud of the uh, legislation that we have uh, when it comes to banning partisan government. The member for Stormrath, Dundas and South Glengarry is warned. Just going to do what I said. <coughs> Finish, please. One of the first things we did when we were elected in 2003, Speaker, was to actually bring in legislation to ban partisan ads because we had seen such a blatant misuse of taxpayers' money from the previous government, Speaker. So we're proud of that. We're one of the very few jurisdictions in the whole world. Member from Hamilton East Stony Creek is warned. Finish, please. We're one of the few jurisdictions in the entire world to have legislation that bans uh, a partisan ad speaker, and we're proud of that distinction. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, uh, the Liberals' new rules don't just limit third-party ads about political parties or politicians. These new rules clamp down on any issue of public interest. The new rules will silence climate change groups, nonpartisan citizen groups, parents concerned with autism, people fighting for pensions or fighting for lower hydro bills, nurses concerned about the cuts in the health care system. All will have their right to free speech limited. At the same time as the government can flood the airwaves and bus shelters and newspaper ad pages with partisan government advertising, can the Deputy Premier explain why there's one set of rules for seniors fighting for pensions and another set of rules for the Ontario Liberal Party? Exactly. Well, thank you very much, Speaker. It is clearly obvious now that the NDP do not want to reform election financing rule in the province of Ontario. From the beginning, Speaker, from the beginning, Speaker, they are trying to slow down and stall the process. Perhaps they want to justify and continue to do their big $10,000 fundraisers like the one they're going to be doing in Ottawa, Speaker. On this side of the House, Speaker, we have heard the public. We want to make sure that we have a system that is transparent and accountable. And that is why, Speaker, we want to. We have tabled this bill, and we want to go and listen to Ontarians. And I hope that the members opposite on the NTP side will agree to a unanimous consent motion, Speaker, so that we can start that public hearing process now, so that we can start listening to Ontarians now, Speaker. And through the summer, I ask yes, the NDP: Are they going to support the unanimous consent motion or not? 